the length of a circular arc, also known as arc length. Let r be the radius of a circle and let theta be the non-negative radian measure of a central angle of the circle. The length of the arc denoted by s is intercepted by the central angle is given by the equation s equals r times theta. So our angle here is in green and of course theta is the measure of the angle right there and the arc length that they're talking about is the piece of the circumference of the circle that runs between the initial and terminal sides of your central angle. So let's look at a few examples. Um, first one, a circle has a radius of 10 feet. Find the length of the arc intercepted by a central angle of 3 pi over 4. Express the arc length in terms of pi and then round your answer to two decimal places. So we have our central angle and there's theta and our formula is s equals r times theta where r is 10 feet and theta is 3 pi over 4. Now that is our radian radians so we can just plug our numbers in to our formula. Whoops, I forgot my 3, excuse me. 10 times 3 pi over 4 is going to be 15 pi over 2 feet and then when you put that into your calculator you get 23.56 feet. Now let's look at an example where theta is not given in radians. A circle has a radius of 6 inches. Find the length of the arc intercepted by a central angle of 75 degrees. Express the arc length in terms of pi and then round your answer to two decimal places. So this time we have, I'll just draw it in a little different place this time, theta right there. And theta is 75 degrees. We need theta in radians, so we're going to take 75 degrees times pi over 180 degrees, and we will get 5 pi over 12. Okay. Now the radius was 6 inches, and so now we pull out the formula S equals R times theta. So that's going to be 6 times 5 pi over 12, which will give me 5 pi over 2 inches. Put that into your calculator and round to the second decimal place, you get 7.85 inches. Now sometimes we use this formula to actually find theta. For example, Find the measure of the central angle theta on a circle of radius 18 meters if the arc length is 4.5 meters. So our radius is 18 meters and our arc length S is 4.5 meters. So if we draw ourselves our picture here, what we're looking for is the theta this time. So S equals R times theta, and when you solve that for theta, you get S over R. So we have 4.5 over 18, which turns out to be 0.25 radians. This formula automatically gives you the answer in radians. If you should want this in degrees, then you're going to take the 0.25 times 180 over pi, and that's going to be 14.3 degrees if you round to the first decimal place. Now let's look at a couple of application problems. First, let's look at find the distance between two cities who are on the initial and terminal sides of a central angle theta equal 80 degrees whose vertex is at the center of the earth round to the nearest mile. And then we say the radius of the earth is approximately 3,960 miles. So what we have here is a slice of the earth and 
there's the center of the earth and we have two cities we'll call this one a and say this one b and if you connect those cities with a central angle there's our theta we want to find the distance between the cities so as you can see that's just going to be the arc length there so r is 3960 miles and theta is 80 degrees so we need to change that to radians by multiplying by pi over 180 and that turns out to be 4 pi over 9 and now we pull out our s equal r times theta formula and we plug our numbers in 3960 times 4 pi over 9 and you will get 1760 pi miles now they said round to the nearest mile so i'm going to take that as find the decimal and round to the nearest whole number and that would be 5529 miles okay now a similar problem where we're finding the angle is this Find the angle formed by two cities in the center of the Earth if the distance between the cities is 1,540 miles. Assume that the radius of the Earth is approximately 3,960 miles and round to the tenth of a degree. So, once again, here's the center of the Earth, or our little slice of Earth here. And we have two cities, A and B. And we want to find the, whoops. My goodness, let me hit the eraser and try that again. We want to find the angle formed by these two cities in the center of the Earth. Now, the distance between these two cities is 1540, that's our S, miles. And of course, the radius of the Earth is 3960 miles. So we take our arc length formula, S equals R times theta, solve it for theta, so S over R. So we get 1540 divided by 3960, and you run that through your calculator, and you're going to get 7 18th radians. Now, they said the round to the tenth of a degree, which tells you you want the answer in degrees. So take 7 18th times 180 degrees over pi run that through your calculator round to the first decimal place and you get 22.3 degrees the end